this just keeps getting more amazing. I think we just jur put in the jury pool the founding fathers uh, and said, what would they think? I don't think we have any idea what they would think in all due respect. Um, with this because of the different times, the different things we've talked about, but also to, to in some way insinuate on a live mic with a lot of people listening that the founding fathers would have found President Trump guilty is just simply malpractice in this with these facts before us. That is just simply pandering to a camera. That is simply just not right. I mean, this is amazing. We can disagree. What's amazing on this committee is we don't even disagree on the facts. We cannot even find a fact right now where it is not uh, going through the public testimony and also the, even the, the transcripts and all. It is not. Mr. Charlie, are we going to deputize somebody between now and the founders end of the jury pool here? <laughs> well, first of all, only I will speak for James Madison. Um, <laughs> the, uh, no, no, we all will speak for James Madison with about the same level of accuracy. It's a form of necromancy that, that academics do all the time, and that's what we get paid for. Um, but I just want to note a couple of things. First of all, I do find it rather surprising that you would have George Washington in this jury pool. I would strike him for cause. Uh, George Washington was the first guy to raise extreme executive privilege claims. He had a rather robust view of what a president could say. If you were going to make a case to George Washington that you could impeach over a conversation he had with another head of state, uh, I expect his hair, his powdered hair, would catch on fire. 